At Stanford University, we use Puppet to bridge the gap between the software development that we need to do to uh, create new kinds of digital library uh, services and the systems administration that we need to do to keep those services running uh, in a high performing a secure way. Um, so because we've been able to uh, get our developers um, more involved in the systems administration side of things and our systems administrators more involved in the software development side of things, it's just made things easier across the board to uh, develop uh, high quality applications and get them out there faster. There's often been a gap between the developers who are developing new software and the systems administrators who are building and maintaining servers. On the one hand, you have developers who um, are really motivated by being able to develop new features. They're really motivated by um, innovation and pushing the envelope. And on the other hand, you have uh, systems administrators who are being tasked with uh, security and stability. And so I, I think of DevOps as the bridge that, uh, the bridge of that gap. Um, since we've been uh, investing more in DevOps processes and skill sets, uh, for example, like uh, building our server infrastructure with Puppet, um, it's been a lot easier for us to get our new services out there and actually delivered. What we've had in the past is that it was expensive and time consuming to set up a new application server. And we often, even if we'd written it out in meticulous detail, didn't get it quite right. Um, there were often discrepancies between the development server and the production server that we didn't catch until the last minute. Um, because we've been able to automate more of it, and because we've been able to automate it in a, an easily repeatable way, we've been able to cut down on not only the time that we're spending, but also the frustration it used to be that we might spend a lot of time doing software development and then we'd fall into this trap where the deployment would trip us up. Now we recognize that the deployment is part of the software development process and that specking out the server has to actually be part of the definition of what it means to create a new software application. Um, it's meant that we can build servers faster, it's meant that we can build them more consistently, and it's meant that we can scale horizontally when we need to. One of the points I want to get across is that good DevOps practice can reduce stress and increase happiness on your team. It can reduce friction. It can uh, improve the quality of what's being produced. And it's, it's a worthwhile investment to make. I think sometimes people hesitate because it, it, is, it can be you know, some time away from your regular duties to invest in a new skill, to start doing test-driven development, to move your infrastructure over to a configuration management system like Puppet. But what I've found is that it's really a worthwhile investment that not only improves the quality of what's being built, but the job satisfaction among everyone who's doing it.